Marvel's Avengers is a game where you and three other players can team up and kick ass. It's really not much more complicated than that. But if you want it to be, it can. For $60, you get single hero story missions, strikes on strongholds, danger room style wave based horde modes, and a co-op campaign that you can play either with AI or with real players. For me, the visuals and the combat are what sucked me in. Think Spider-Man PlayStation 4, but co-op? I admittedly am concerned about how this will perform and the frame rate across all consoles, but with three betas, I guess we can all jump in and see for ourselves. The story mode will have you rebuild the Helicarrier hub, which will remind most gamers of Destiny's tower. Fight, get XP, level up, find loot, equip gear, collect resources, bring the resources back to the Helicarrier, and 3D print better gear. Progress, and unlock icons, calling cards, emotes, and skins inspired by each hero's comic book counterparts. The game launches with six heroes. Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. The game has microtransactions for cosmetics, but every future DLC will be free. Hawkeye is announced as the upcoming seventh hero, but what excites most early adopters is the game's potential. But when I say potential, what I really mean are DLC heroes. The roster's good, but I'd love to see it get strange, weird. Thor's a great elemental hero, but what about the perfect storm? What if you were bringing all of the elements to that fight? I took a poll on the Marvel Avengers subreddit asking Redditors whom they believe was most likely to be added and their dream hero edition. Everyone seems to agree that Ant-Man, Black Panther, and Carol Danvers stand the highest chance of being the next new additions to this game. But of everyone's dream hero edition, in order from most mentioned to least mentioned, people wished for Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Wolverine, Storm, Vision, Reed Richards, Daredevil, Deadpool, Cyclops, Quake, and Spider-Woman. Spider-Man being omitted, of course, because he's definitely least likely to appear in this game. Here's hoping they don't rob some of the strongest characters in the Marvel Universe of their iconic looks. Spider-Man PS4 wasn't scared to be sexy, and if this game has skins to sell, swallow your hot body hatred and make this money. There are some Marvel fans, die-hard fans, that will single-handedly fund your DLC. If this game can manage stable performance, regular region and hero updates, and great skins, this game could be my new favorite for the foreseeable future. Is this the game you're looking for? You be the judge. The dates displayed are the beta period for this game for people to try it for free. Update. At the time of recording, Spider-Man has been announced as a PlayStation 4 exclusive character for Marvel Avengers the video game. Not only do I genuinely feel bad for PC and Xbox, specifically because I was planning to get this on PC as a backup plan if the frame rate or the performance was a joke, but to know that Spider-Man is only on PS4 is, is as shocking as a Smash announcement, considering he was the least likely. With the Insomniac games running parallel, for us to figure he'd be in here, so... Okay... It's him. Spider-Man. Does he come with his own story mission? Maybe his own villain? I think I need to sit down.